Here is a Frando four piston brake caliper. And that is a stock master cylinder. If you want to do a brake upgrade, what do you do? Do you upgrade the master cylinder? Or a brake caliper? To find out, stay tuned. We're going to tell you all about it. So you might think that a tiny master cylinder is going to have a hard time putting a lot of pressure on a big brake caliper. But you might be wrong. First, we're going to need this. And second, we're going to need this. Now that we have a whiteboard here, let's see how it works. What is this? Please sit down. You know what? We're not going to die of radon. We're going to die of boredom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Over here, we have our caliper. And it has two cylinders, two pistons, just like most light duty bikes. And then over here, we have our master cylinder. And it has one smaller piston. So let's say that this piston is half the size of this piston. Now, there's a thing called hydraulic leverage. Okay, so hydraulic leverage is basically, basically, like a lever that we learned about in school. You try to lift a really heavy object and you push down on this end of the lever and you have a leverage ratio. Well, master cylinders and brake calipers also have a leverage ratio. A ratio of four to one means that your force is multiplied by four and your distance that the lever has to move is also multiplied by four. So what if you go and install a four piston caliper on it? So we're gonna say the four piston caliper has the same size pistons, but we just have four of them. Now, our ratio went from four to one and it changed to eight to one. So our new force is multiplied by eight and our new distance is also multiplied by eight. So you might say, wow, that's a good thing. Having lots of force on the piston is better. It's gonna make me stop faster. Well, maybe that's true and maybe it's not. What's our trade-off for force? Our trade-off for force is on a continuum. On this size, it's distance. But in practical application, that is feel. So typically, we like a firm lever feel. A firm lever feel means short distance. Distance and feel are basically the same thing. So that's also feedback from the tire, which tells us what the tire is doing. So basically, we're on a continuum here where we're trying to balance force and feel. So years ago, I had a CBR250 with a small little two-piston caliper on it. The master cylinder went out and my mechanic replaced it with a big old 19 millimeter master cylinder off a Gixxer 1000. Now a Gixxer 1000 doesn't have just one four-piston caliper, it has two. So that means that piston was meant to be pushing on eight pistons. So it's really big. The, the trade-off was the feel was great. It felt very firm, but I didn't have enough force. I could not lock the wheel up with my hands. That meant I did not get to the threshold of my tire's ability and I was not stopping as fast as I could. So that was a bit of an issue. So in theory, if we go back to our four piston caliper and our the same master cylinder, that should mean that the feel is reduced and the force is increased. So let's go test it and see if that's true. That was one finger stopping. Did you see how easy that locked up? That's no fun at all. That's scary. This thing tries to wash out at the drop of a hat. So what do you do? How do you choose a master cylinder? 
Well, there are some calculations that you can do to find out what size. But the best way is just to contact the manufacturer of the master cylinder. So that's what I did. I contacted Frando and they recommended a 15 millimeter radial master cylinder. And that is about 4,000 NT, which isn't bad, but I found a race, a, a racing boy RCB for cheaper. Now it's a 14 millimeter, which puts it very close to the 15 millimeters. So I figured it'd probably work. Now, I know that a small two piston caliper typically takes between a nine and an 11 or 12 millimeter master cylinder. And I also know that big bikes with two four piston calipers like Jixer 1000s, R1s usually take a 19 to 22 millimeter. So 15 millimeter is right there in between, which is what you would expect of one four piston caliper. So I bought the RCB and we're gonna go check that out. So I thought, hmm, what can I get on a budget? So I did a search and I found RCB, which stands for Racing Boy. Racing Boy? Never heard of them. My friend first told me about them when he went to a job interview with them. And I was like, what are these guys? Well, as it turns out, they're actually kind of a big company in Malaysia. And they offer master cylinders for cheaper than Frando. And Frando is a Brembo ripoff. So maybe they're junk, but let's find out. Let's open this up. So when we open it up, we see bubble wrap. Yeah. We have a receipt. That's good. Stickers. Yeah. He's a grown man. And then we have this nice layout here. So we have nice foam uh, with a reservoir. That's nice. A banjo bolt. A bracket. And the crown jewel, a radio master cylinder. Hmm. So this costs 2,500. Um, some places sell it for 2,800, but the Frando version is 4,000. So it's a significant savings. So I was like, well, let's find out if this is any good. One reason I got this one, they have a cheaper one that's not radial, but it doesn't have folding levers. And this one has folding levers. So that's kind of important for me as I tend to ride, I'm, I intend to ride this off road. Um, and this would mean that I won't break levers and I won't need to mess around with hand guards. So we're gonna try that. So I'm gonna install this, bleed it out, and we're gonna see if this is gonna work or not. I chose 14 millimeter because that was the closest I could get to the 15 millimeter that Frando recommended. So let's put this on here and see if it works.
So how is it to ride? Honestly, it's great. The feel is really good. The power is fantastic. I can, I can lock up the tire if I need to, um, but I'm, it's not a light switch at all. Very, very manageable. You can manage that, that, that threshold braking. You can manage the lockup. Um, I'm super happy with it. So one small thing, this does not come with a brake light switch installed on it. So what you need is a small pressure brake light switch that replaces the banjo bolt in the bottom and it activates based on brake line pressure. So you need that. And then that's it. I mean, install it, bleed it, uh, and you're ready to go. So the longevity of this thing, um, we'll, we'll have to see. But uh, right now, I think it's a fantastic product. All right, so to answer the original question, if you want to upgrade your brakes, should you choose a master cylinder or a caliper? Well, I don't think an aftermarket master cylinder on a stock caliper is really going to give you a lot more stopping power. You might get a little bit better feel, um, but it's probably not going to be a huge noticeable increase. You will get more stopping power from a bigger and better caliper, but if you go too big, your master cylinder is not going to be matched well with it. And as we saw before, it's going to give touchy lockup brakes that are worse than stock. So if you want to go with a little bit larger caliper um, with a little bit larger pistons, you should be fine uh, as, as that as a standalone upgrade. Otherwise, if you want a substantial increase in braking performance, you need to do both the master cylinder and the caliper. Join us again next time on Expat on Two Wheels. Like and subscribe, and we've got more videos coming out with this bike. We are gonna put it through its paces. See you next time.